High water energies, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look and see why is your special person, your connecting romantic energy, acting this way. Okay, so why are they saying what they're saying? Why are they doing what they're doing? Or, you know, why aren't they saying more of this and less of that? Doing, you know, less of this or more of that? Basically, we'll see the reason for their behavior. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot readings myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what's coming up. Okay, we've got the three, um, not the three, sorry, the uh, Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, you've got three pages that have come up here. Okay, and also the Four of Pentacles here. Okay, so why is your person acting the way that they are here? Okay, so pages are often a younger energy. Okay, if there isn't an age gap uh, in your connection, then there's definitely a gap of maturity. Perhaps your person is not as emotionally mature as you are. There may be like a sense of, um, emotional immaturity or even like um, emotionally juvenile type of behavior that's being displayed by your romantic interest it could be just because this person feels like they're much younger energy than yourself so if there is an age gap and this person is obviously younger than yourself and you know you know therefore that maturity that age gap is really prominent and it becomes really evident in the way that they carry themselves their demeanor the way they approach certain things because you obviously have you know more maturity or just more life experience just emotional experience in general and sometimes you may look at what they say or do and go okay well that wasn't exactly mature of you okay so for those of you that do have that age gap i guess that can explain by the age factor okay the fact that your person may lack maturity and they may need to do some growing or some evolving they may not necessarily be immature it's just that because of this age gap that really becomes then highlighted and it really becomes um, apparent for others of you there may not be necessarily an age gap with what i see but i just feel like their energy is coming up really youthful really vibrant um your person sometimes has a tendency to live in the moment okay they're not someone who thinks ahead too much they're not someone who it's not that they're not invested in their future or invested in their ambitions this is this person feels like more of a free spirit they've got a bit of a flighty energy to them they're more about living in the moment but essentially life is made up of moments right so you can't necessarily blame them but i guess this is where you and your person differ because you are someone who you know thinks ahead or you are someone who likes to um just sort of organize yourself whereas your person is more like carefree and is more about living in the moment because tomorrow is not promised sort of energy so again this is where your relationship really differs and you may look at them and go okay well you're being immature or that was a really immature or childish thing to do but then they could look at you and go okay well you need to loosen up a little bit you need to you know be more in the moment so there's definitely differences in your characters, but I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't peg them immature. I just feel like there are certain differences about your personalities or even your elements here that really highlight how the two of you are different in nature or just different when you start drawing comparisons, okay? I can see that your person still has a lot of growing and evolving to do. Your person may not have had a lot of long-term relationships in the past. So maybe they're whole new to this relationship or to the, this whole dating thing, okay? So it's a bit of a foreign experience experience for them it's territory that they haven't necessarily you know been familiar with or are familiar with so that's where they struggle a little bit they may also have like childlike predispositions where they've got this really youthful exuberant enthusiastic energy and sometimes they can be a bit difficult to be around with right just because they're always excited they're always up to something very fidgety just always like to keep busy and that i feel like sometimes exhausts some of you because you're, you're a sign that you know you're 
you like to take breaks, you like to retreat uh, and withdraw from the rest of the world just to sort of, you know, recuperate, recharge your energies and your person may not always understand that, okay? They are a bit of an idealist. They are someone who tends to maybe romanticize love, maybe look at things through a pair of, uh, like look at the whole romantic situation or look at love through a pair of rose-colored glasses on. This is someone who I feel like is a big romantic at heart you might take a look at them firsthand and not necessarily believe that to be true, but I do feel like this person is really big on romance, um, a, you know, a very chivalry energy here with the Knight of Cups. This is someone who I feel like is very open to exploring love and is very open to the possibilities that love does invite in for them. So I do feel like a person is open to the possibilities, but they do have some insecurities, okay? So they can come across as a little bit possessive, a little bit jealous, someone who is maybe quick to anger by something you say or you do, and that is being driven by their insecurities, because I can see they do have, there may be something about you where they may feel as though they're sometimes intimidated by you, whether by your good looks, your charm, your personality, your success, your independence, you know, the fact that you, you're so driven and so capable and so determined, this, or maybe by, you know, a string of these things, this is very intimidating to your person and sometimes they can act in a bit of a show-offy manner just to sort of keep to get your attention and maintain it sort of thing um, but I can see that there is a sense of intimidation with your person they're really in awe of you I feel like your person has a lot of great respect and admiration for you and I do feel like your person feels sometimes like you're a little bit out of their league like they're punching above their weight with you and this is why this is what intimidates them this is what gets them to act a little bit juvenile or emotionally infantile it's it's essentially them trying to Fish for your attention, you know, get it and then try to maintain your attention because they believe that you are someone who does have a suit of admi admirers around them. They believe you're, the, you're this energy where you attract moths to a flame. So this is why they're acting the way that they're acting. Essentially, they want you and they feel like as though they have to compete for your attention. It's not that you make them feel this way. It's it's the, their insecurities that make them feel this way. They're insecure. They may not feel like they're enough on their own. They may not feel like, you know, they're all sufficient or they're good enough for you so there's definitely low self-worth or low self-esteem issues um, or just even other insecurities that I feel like cause your person to act the way that they act or to say things the way you know to to say the things that they have I did say your person is really open to love I do feel like they want this they want to love they want to fall in love they want commitment they want something long term they, they are seeking a relationship but a part of them is definitely has blockages around the energy where you can want something and be scared of the very thing that you want. And I feel like this is what's going on with your individual. Like there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of excitement I feel around the energy. And this is someone who's open to exploring the potential and the possibilities with you. But I feel like a part of them is only willing to go so deep into this connection purely because they're scared. And there is blockages around the person. So if your person doesn't necessarily open up or if your person isn't always, you know, very um, like sharing with their thoughts, their feelings, uh, their intentions, or if you feel like there's, you know, they only go so far, they take a few steps forward and then they pull back, it's because of their insecurities that the reading is highlighting here. Essentially, they are driven by their insecurities. So it's unfortunate because I feel like if they can untangle some of these issues, they are worth it. They are good enough. You know, they're a great energy. I feel like they're very driven. They're very ambitious. They've got a lot to offer. It's just, it's a shame that these insecurities of them are really bogging them down. Okay, guys, so this is your reading. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, um, or commenting if the section is open. I don't know. Um, I just want to thank you guys again. I will be sharing, of course, with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.